Hi friends, uh, in this video, I'll be talking about how you can use options which are given in a LRD asset, especially to actually solve the LRD asset faster. Example that I'm going to give is something that I myself did in CAT 2020. So till CAT 2019, every section used to have one hour time. And in CAT 2020, the time was decreased to 40 minutes. So there was lesser time. And I think the number of questions were similar. I think there were 24 questions at that time. And I was panicking in the examination and I was not able to solve many of the sets. And in this one particular set, it seemed like a set which I should be able to solve it because I was getting some idea. But for some reason, my mind went blank. I was not reading some of the clues that were given because of which I was struggling. This uh, set specifically, I remember, is with respect to a farmer who had a plot of land. He had to distribute it amongst his four uh, daughters. So there is basically a rectangular matrix. I'll uh, show you how it actually looks. In this question, we are told that uh, there is a three cross four table. The table has uh, four columns and three rows. All of this is given in the question. We are also told that uh, the first one is 12. This goes to the third daughter, I think Chitra. The second one is 21. This goes to the first daughter, Apa. You guys can actually go through the set so that you get a better understanding of what the set actually was and where I got stuck. The next one is B and this is C. This is nine, this is 28 and A. Basically for each of these 12 values, that is three rows and four columns, we have to get a number. And the total number, uh, the sum of all of these 12 uh, numbers is 205. We are given some clues regarding that. Now, when I went through all the clues, what I could figure out was that uh, it was given that uh, this was 4x, this was given to us, and this is 2x, and this is x. They are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4. That was told to us. So, the sum of the second column could be gotten. It was 21 plus 7x. And we are also told that the sum of the first row is double that of the second row. So, I could figure out that this was 42 plus 14x. I was also able to figure out uh, which daughter each of the 12 plots belong to based on the clues. You can go through the set so that you will also understand exactly what I'm talking about. So I could figure out that this goes to D, this goes to D. Uh, I think this goes to A, this goes to A, this goes to B, this goes to B and yeah, this will go to B. So this was what I was able to figure out, but here I was stuck. I was not getting any, I was not able to make any progress. But based on it, I could figure out that the sum of the first two rows is 42 plus 14x plus 21 plus 7x, which is 63 plus 21x. And in the last row, I knew that there were 9 and 28 anyways there. So that is 37. I add to this, the total that I have anyways is 100 plus 21x. But there are two cells remaining, this one and this one. Why was I doing it? Because I wanted to get a rough understanding of what x will be. The sum of all of this, this 100 plus 21x plus these two has to equal 205. So based on it, I could figure out that the value of x has to be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. But again, I was not sure which one it is. The reason I was doing all of it was because I was not able to make any progress based on the clues themselves. I was trying to make some educated guesses about the value of x. Similarly, I was also able to figure out that the total value of all the uh, trees that were given to Abha, who is A, that is the first daughter, is 4x plus x plus 21 plus I think 9. So I could figure out that A was total of 5x plus 30. Similarly, there was some clue given about uh, the number of trees with C and D. It was told that, uh, if I'm not wrong, yeah, Abha got uh, 20 trees more than Chitra. So I could figure out that C is 5x minus 10. And D, who is the last daughter, we are told got 6 trees more than uh, Abha. So that is 5x plus 36. So based on it, these three women directly got 15x plus 56. All of this, I was trying to solve the set and I've made this much progress, which would tell me how much B got. B would have gotten 205 minus this, which is I think 149 minus 15x. Now over here I was stuck, but I was not making any progress. Now one of the questions, and then I was trying to look at the questions to see if I can get any more clues. Probably I would have solved it if I went through all the clues that were given, but in an LRDA set, when especially in the examination, when you panic and if you're missing any clue, even if you're going through all the clues, that one clue which has this blind spot, you will not be able to look at it again and again. So I was trying to see where I was going wrong. Then when I looked at one of the questions, the question was about, uh, we had to guess which of the following is the correct sequence of trees received by Abha, Bina, Chitra and Dipti. That is for, uh, we had to figure out how much each of the daughter has gotten and there were four clues given. Now Abha's number, if you're looking only at Abha, is either 50 in option A, 54 in option B, 44 in option C and 16 option D. Now based on it, I knew that Abha has to be 5x plus 30. What does this tell us? 5x plus 30 has to be a multiple of 5. If x is 1 and you can remember that I also figured out that x has to be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. So if you even substitute the value of x over here, you will figure out that Abha's value has to be either 35. This will happen when x is 1 
or when x is 2 it will be 40 or when x is 3 it will be 45 or when x is 4 it is 50. One of these four has to be there and amongst the options the only options were 50, 54, 44 and 60. So the only common term is 50. So when I got stuck there when I looked at these options I could figure out that the value of x has to be 4. Why it is 4 I don't know but based on the options I could figure out in the examination that x has to be 4. Based on it I could feel that this was 4, this is 8, this will be also 16 or something. So I could figure out the total number of trees with Abha. Using that I could figure out because Chitra has only 2 and I know the total number of trees with Chitra, I could figure out what is the value of C. And similarly I could solve the entire set because I got a very big clue based on it. Essentially what I am saying is if you are stuck in any set, if you have made some progress, if you have a rough idea of what the different values should be, you might not know whether the value should be A or B or C. You might feel that there are a list of values that they can take. But then go through all the questions and try to see if using the options in different questions you should be able to get some more value or uh, some more additional information which will help you in solving the set faster. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any doubts you can please uh, message us or comment below this video. We will definitely look at it and try to answer it to the best of our ability.